Day of Sex, Mankind Div- I'm saying it like it's a review. It's not a review, it's an announcement. So a trailer just went up for Day of Sex, Mankind Divided, which is obviously the new game in the Day of Sex franchise, series, game, whatever. So these are like half action, half stealth kind of games, and they switch from third person to first person. The unique thing about Day of Sex is like all the different, like the RPG mechanics in it. So it's like a shooter, but then you have like all these abilities you can like augment your guy with. So I played like... 10 minutes of Deus Ex Human Revolution, it's, that's an under-exaggeration. I like broke some guy's necks, choked some other guy, shot like one tranquilizer dart and got stuck. That game was really hard. I gave up and I haven't touched it since. So now I might have to go replay I'll probably just watch all the cutscenes on YouTube. I mean, no, don't do that. That's bad. Support the developer. So this trailer is awesome! I don't remember there being a date at the end, so I don't think this is coming in 2015. I mean, come on, games take forever. Games that were announced for 2014 are now being put back to 2016. So Adam Jensen's like this robot guy, he's got like a Swiss Army knife for arms. He was the same protagonist as in the last game. And in this trailer, he's like killing all these guys and it's awesome! This guy's like Batman plus Ezio. Like, minus the Italian. It's really violent, it's really fast, and there's blood and gore going. These, I, I love these kind of CGI trailers because they look amazing. Like, now granted, they don't really show, like, the gameplay will probably not be like that. And from a game's journalism perspective, it doesn't really tell you much about the game. But they just, they look so cool. And the music, too, is like, I bought Deus Ex Human Revolution just for the music. Because I, I heard about it in advance, I'm like, this game has to be so intense because this music is amazing. Don't be fooled. Good soundtrack does not mean good game. I can't say that for Deus Ex because I never finished it. So the idea for this is obviously like, oh, there's the augmented people and then the regular people. And it's like, kind of like the X-Men mutant thing. Or the people with the augmentations, which is like, you know, robot cyborg stuff. They're like, it's our bodies, we can do what we want, we have our rights, you can't take this from us. And then the other people are like, it's dangerous, they can kill us and... Because of the, all the augmentations seem to be weapons based, I don't know if it's like... I'm sure they're like fixing, giving sight to blind men and cool Jesus-y stuff like that. Curing cancer. But you can see why this would be a very controversial issue. Yeah, the same thing in like X-Men, like I said, with the mutants and with the Superhero Registration Act coming up in Civil War, which you will see next year in Captain America 3. So granted, this is mostly speculation and it's not even well-researched speculation because I don't know much about the last games, but from the trailer it looks like Adam Jensen, though he is augmented, he's fighting with the regular people against the augmented, so it's like these augmented terrorists are like being this extremist group and they're going and destroying like all these whatever. And Adam's fighting for the people because he's awesome. He's got those cool sunglasses. So as a trailer, this is... If I scored trailers, I don't. This would be really, really cool. Like, I'm gonna watch it again because the soundtrack is awesome and because it looks awesome. And he shows some new abilities too. He's got like the cloak and like, oh, it's like Crisis! And then like the... The rock armor turtle thing right before it goes to credits. What if that was like something that fans have been wanting in the series forever and they were just like, oh! My only gripe is that the color palette is identical to Human Revolution and story wise, it seems like it might be the same thing again. I don't know. But hey, if it's a cool next gen game and it's fun to play, we're good. I just hope it doesn't do too much stealth. Is like, the reason I like Evil Within so much is it was half action, half horror. It was not all survival horror. And though the hardcore fans of things like that would get really mad, because if in the New Day of Sex it was more half-action, half-stealth RPG stuff. And because if it's all of that, it makes it really hard for the mainstream audiences to get into stuff like that. And of course the fan base of the older games will be really mad, it's like, YOU'RE RUINING OUR GAME, YOU'RE MAKING IT MAINSTREAM! What I also really don't like is the switching between first person and third person. That's just me, I think that's weird. And it made it the game kind of hard to control, I thought. Just like, take the... Third person cover shooter mechanics of Gears of War, and then throw in your own cool Deus Exy stuff. Deus Exy stuff. I'm excited for this game, and I have nothing about it, and I probably shouldn't have even made a video about it. But, whatever. I want to talk about it, okay? Watch the trailer. It's awesome. Are you excited for Deus Ex Mankind Divided? What'd you think of the trailer? I'm Wesley Thompson. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. See ya. Can you believe I don't own a single black pair of sunglasses? I had to go get, like, safety glasses that look like freaking rainbow. Adventure Time.